What's good, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. I appreciate the love on the subscribers, man. That means a lot to me. To the new viewers that's coming on to my page, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe button. It'll help the channel grow. I appreciate it. Much love. Uh, to the ones that's been showing my love, uh, my channel love, I appreciate y'all a lot, man. Like I said, I just try to come on here and be my genuine self and, you know, share life experiences. And like I said in my uh, last video, my, my videos ain't, my videos going to be flamboyant. They're going to be different topics. You know, I'm always, I'm going to talk about different things. And it's a, it's a variety of things I like to talk about or just try to talk about. And if y'all can relate or if I helped y'all, you know, that's, you know, kudos to me, you know. And uh, like I said, I appreciate the love, man, for real. Uh, it's therapeutic for me just to come on here to talk or, you know, to share information to people that really don't, you know, have nobody to talk to. Or I ain't, gonna, I ain't even necessarily going to say nobody to talk to, man. Just, you know, somebody that could relate to them or, you know, talk about things that some people just don't get or understand. But, yeah, man, I got a topic suggestion uh, from one of my subscribers. And like I said, if y'all got anything y'all want to talk about, drop it in the comment section. I done left my emails in the description. Um, y'all can email me something if y'all want. I wouldn't, you know, shout your name out or nothing. And, you know, we could talk about it. And I could try my best to help you out or describe it. But, yeah, man, he uh, wanted me to talk about how a man should have street smarts, life smarts, book smarts. Is that how important that is in a man's life? In my opinion, especially as you start from a young man and going into like your 30s, it's very important to have all of that and above. Nobody say you're going to be Isaac Newton or a thug in the streets or, you know, be the best, you know, lady man, ladies man or any of that. Now, street smarts is very important to have as a man because you want to know how to survive out here when it comes to uh, trying to get your stuff together and having patience and you know, learning how to figure out stuff and talk to people. And and that goes back to that ghetto mentality, immature mentality I, uh, in one of my videos. Well, I made two videos, but the, and, um, I was explaining that, that that's an immature, you know, mentality to have because it don't get you nowhere. It's always good to try to learn and absorb everything as you can as a man because all, that's all we got is yourself and God. Knowledge is power. Um, don't ever be afraid to ask questions. Don't be ever ever be afraid to fail and bump. Don't ever be afraid to get your heart broken. Don't ever be afraid to not listen to somebody. Don't ever be afraid to learn something new. Um, that's something I had to learn as I was getting older, man. I was I, I always felt like I knew everything. I was too good to listen to somebody, and I had to bump my head. Street smarts, in my opinion, is more, like I said, it's more just trying to survive trying to um and teach you how to uh, become a soldier in my opinion Cause that's what it did for me it, it, it teach you things that uh it, it just it would teach you how to survive in my opinion and it, it'll turn you into a soldier man and it's yes it's very important to have it, it, as a man same, same as life smart uh life's uh being life smart man life smart is basically basically making the right decisions your finances, um, you know, getting up, going to work every day. If you get your heart broken, you don't stop working. Um, being financially uh, stable, uh, making the right choices, learning from your mistakes, uh, understanding that you only uh, you only human. Uh, also understanding that uh, things ain't gonna be perfect in life. Uh, it, it, it's a lot of things that come with life smart man like basically like you know your bills do don't do on the first instead of going to get jordans and going to get some 24 inches on your rims or putting some bang in your car you pay your rent first before you go buy your wants you put your priorities first that's being life smart or if you got kids you buy you take care of your kids before you go buy yourself something because they needs come first before yours or you know that you need to save some money to get the things you want. You get what I'm saying? Like that's life smart. Or if you caught your girl cheating on you and you damn near about to explode and you ready to put a bullet in her head, you want to sit back and evaluate like, Hey, if I kill this girl, 
I'm going to be gone for the rest of my life. Or if, say, for instance, a dude at your job and you really like your job and he put his hands on you, it's either one thing, one or two things you could do. You could defend yourself or you could whoop his ass. Because if you whoop his ass, you're going to lose your job and they're going to end up calling the police on you. That's a life smart. Uh, that's being life smart. Uh, life smart is basically making choices in life. As a man, you're going to always have choices, hard choices. Uh, that's what makes us a man. Our choices, our responsibilities, uh, standing up to our word, uh, not letting a woman destroy your ego, your image, because there's plenty out here. That's another thing, man. Women ain't going nowhere. I never understood what that meant until I got out here, got my heart broken, and you just start seeing them everywhere. They have, they approach you, you know, as you trying to get your stuff together. You know, they just everywhere. There's more women. I had an OG tell me this. There's more women than men on this earth. I really believe in that. But don't let a female stop you from trying to elevate in life because they ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere, bro. Don't ever let a female stop you from getting your paper. Don't ever let, don't ever let a uh, female stop you from trying to elevate in life because they ain't going nowhere. If that one didn't work out, it's going to hurt. Move on. Because life goes on, bro. That's another thing about being life smart. Life keeps spinning. Life keeps uh, spinning, bro, regardless of what's going on in your life. You got to make, you got to uh, wake up and look yourself in the mirror and really ask yourself, like, is this what I want in my life? Is this what I want to deal with? Is this who I want to be? Do I want better for myself? That that's that's called being life smart. It's called making a decision for yourself. Book smart is like copying and pasting. You study, take the test, get a high score, or it's like you pass all your subjects. You know how to read. You know how to write. You know you ain't uh, saying you got to be the smartest motherfucker in the classroom, but you know your subjects. You got a, a good uh, understanding of having an education so street smart is more on survival uh life smart is about making the best decisions for yourself and learning from them book smart is more of your intellect learning new things copying and pasting that's book smart to me Life, they don't teach you life smart in school. They don't teach you you need to pay your bills. They don't teach you you need to save. They don't teach you how to deal with a heartbreak. They don't teach you how to, you know, deal with um, hardship in your life when things come about, how to overcome it, how to become a man, how to, you know, when you get depressed and things ain't going your way as a man, how to get out of it. They don't show you that in life. A lot of these roles you're going to have to take on your own and it's going to happen. It happens to every man. And it's one or two things you're going to do. You're either going to bundle up in the corner or you're going to elevate. It's going to make you. I done had my heart broken twice. And women, the, the things they choose to do is because out of their emotion. They are never, what I also learned is women, it, it can never be good enough for a female. It's always something they want. So you got to always prepare yourself and not give 100% to somebody. Always protect yourself. Always have something saved up. i never forget, I was with a girl, and we was together for five years. And I, she was a good girl, but I was the asshole. I wasn't saying that I was a garbage bag, but it was more like I wasn't prepared because I'm thinking we locked in regardless of what we had going on. Lost everything. Didn't have no savings. Didn't have nothing. Didn't even barely have job security. First heartbreak. Didn't even know what to do with myself. Then I quit my job. Stopped making money. Ain't nobody had nothing for me. They didn't want to hear my sob story. They heard me out. I feel bad for you. I'm sorry. You'll find somebody else. They gave me the whole, you know, sob story. The whole, they could show me sympathy. But when it was time for me to need some money, some gas, some food, some place to stay, all that went out the window. People only going to care to a certain extent for you, bro. It's okay if you want to be by yourself. 
and not want to deal with females. It's guys that's scared to deal with females because of that reason. But I'm telling you, it's a life experience you got to experience as a man. And it's going to make you into more of a man. It's going to teach you how to deal with women. It's going to teach you how to back off a woman. It's going to teach you how to have dick discipline. A lot of men don't have dick discipline. They see a fat ass walking. They, they damn near ready to give everything they got to them. A lot of men don't know how to just turn down sex. A lot of men don't know how to not have their tongue out where they see something bad walking by. That bad shit ain't where it's at, bro. A genuine, kind, submissive, simple, uh, how, 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 can I, how can I put this in words? A kind, respectful woman, submissive, hardworking, that's the type of female you want. Nowadays, it's hard to find that. If everybody, the females think like they too good to do all that, the, it's all on a the man. They, they just, they just, they just eggs. If you drop them, they ain't got nothing to offer. Empty shell. Here, you got to come with everything on the table. And that's another thing I tell my brother, my younger brother, man. He always comes to me for advice and, you know, life advice. If your woman ain't willing to love you, respect you, and treat you right, and come come with something on the table, because it ain't all about money, but it's about surviving out here together, because that's where, you know, love don't pay the bills, love don't make everything happen. That's just something y'all have together, and, you know, as y'all love each other, y'all should want to build with each other. But, like I said, man, I'm getting too much off the topic or whatever, but all I'm really trying to explain to you, man, is... As a young man, or as a man in general, you're going to go through these things. You're going to go through heartbreaks. You're going to trip. You're going to fall. You're not going to have everything you want. You might see Mr. J down the street with the newest Mustang. Don't don't worry about it. Friends going to come and go. Um, when you in the streets or you say a, a, young, a man or a young man should have street smarts, you're going to have that naturally anyway because it's called surviving, going out, and going to apply to a job or learning how to walk away from a person when they talk as slick to you or learning how to defend yourself if somebody's trying to attack you, you know. It, it just comes with a lot of things when it comes when you say street smart, man. Learning how to avoid things, learning how to, you know, survive, basically. That's street smarts to me. Learning how to make the uh, right choices. Uh, learn, learning how to get your way out of a situation without you getting hurt. Uh, learning how to stay away from the... Uh, the crazy ass fucked up women that's out there in the streets anyway. Learn how to pick and choose what's a hoe and what's a gold digger and what's a woman, what's a good woman. But you will learn as you grow as a young man. Older men should already went through it, but if they didn't, it's okay because, you know, life is, you know, full of surprises and you'll be surprised where you'll end up at, man. But the biggest thing I could tell you is don't ever give up on yourself. Always pace yourself. It's a doggy dog eat world, man. They either be eight or you either eat or be eating, man. Cause at the end of the day, man, ain't nobody gonna love you more than yourself and God. You know? And I ain't trying to even say it like on no bitter type shit, cause some females will come here and like, oh yeah, you know, you know how some they'll come on my comments saying some crazy stuff and I just don't be on it. I don't debate over the internet. But yeah, man, love yourself, put yourself first. And love God. At the end of the day, all great men fall. No. All men fall, but only the great ones get up. All men fall, but only the great ones get up. Or maybe it's all, all only the strong get up. Either way, it's still a good, you know, quote or metaphor or whatever you want to call it. You got to stay strong, brother. And whatever makes you happy, do that. Because life is short, and you're gonna be sitting in your in your in your room or wonder why you can't get there. You gotta get up and get it, man. You gotta get up and get it. Can't make no excuses for yourself. While everybody else out partying, you working twelve hours stacking your money. While your dude struggling to play that car note. You driving in in uh, 2001 so you can save some money so you ain't got to pay that car note. That's called being life smart. Instead of you going raw, raw, raw dog in this bad female and getting her pregnant, you chose to put on a condom. Instead of trying to hit the hole, 
that everybody done hit, and you ain't and you you chose to protect yourself from getting the STD or the herpes. That's life smart, bro. It's very important for a man to have. But I always feel like the hardest thing for a man is choices, decisions, healing, not letting that anger bottle up in you. That was always my problem, my temper. I always had a bad temper. I don't care if you was a woman, a man, your grandma, your auntie, your sister, your brother. I just didn't care. If you come disrespectful, I'm going to come back 10 times disrespectful. But now that I done had kids and I done went to, I done bumped my head so many times. I done lost jobs. I done lost out on money, opportunities. I done scared people away from me. People ain't want to say nothing to me. I done lost friends. Control your temper. And that's another thing you need to do. Control your temper. Because I'm telling you, that ain't going to get you nowhere. And be yourself. Don't have, You do not have to be like everybody else. You do not have to be like everybody else. You do not got to be a gangster to be a stand-up guy. You do not have to be a thug to pull the baddest woman, if that's what you want. If you want a wife, let her find you. Or let it come. Pray for it. Uh, like I said, have dick, dick discipline, man. Don't ever let pussy control you. Do not let pussy control you. I'm telling you, it'll be your worst mistake. You'll be, like I said, you'll fuck around and go crazy. A woman would drive a man nuts, bro. A woman would drive a man fucking crazy if you allow her. Because sometimes they just, they women. They could be bitches sometimes. They could be sweet. They could be conniving. They could be sneaky. They are some crazy creatures. And remember this. You can have it all in the world. But a woman can fuck your shit up just like this if you allow her. She'll fuck your whole floor up. How do I know that? I allowed it to happen. She'll fuck your emotions up. She'll stop you from going to work. She'll have you calling off. She will even have you crash your goddamn car into some shit. Because she is dry, she driving you nuts. She might do some shit you don't like. You know, you just got to learn how to control your emotions. That's the biggest thing, too. Control your emotions, bro. Control your emotions, man. And that's part of being street smart because you can't be in the streets acting crazy. Somebody will put a bullet in your head. Or maybe somebody might end up jumping you in the middle of the alley because you done said some crazy shit. You ain't even know them. Keep your head down. No, no. Keep your head high, keep it pushing, stay out of people's business, stay out the way, and keep striving. Because I'm telling you, staying out the way will keep you out of trouble. Staying out of people's business will keep you out of trouble. Only worry about yourself and pray to God. Thank Him every day. Strive for greatness. Because I'm telling you, the moment you throw off, you fall off track, God will smack you right in the head. We flawed creatures. We ain't going to never be perfect. And also remember, women is not going nowhere. Do not fuck your whole shit up over a female, bro. And that's part of being street smarts, too. Learning how to avoid fucked up, scandalous ass females. Because I'm telling you, the way they manipulate men nowadays is off the chain. Trust me, seeing a bad body walking by, pretty face smelling good, just trust me, I know what to do. But it ain't worth it. You would know. I don't bump my head so many times with females, it don't make sense. You live and you learn. And don't forget that don't forget I said it's okay to learn. Absorb everything as you can, because we don't never stop learning as we grow as men. We age like wine. Women age differently. Um don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. It helps the channel grow. I appreciate it. Much love. But yeah, man, that's my perspective on being street smart, life smart, and book smart, man. It's for any man. It ain't got to just be for young men because some, some, some older men need to hear this too. And uh, deal with your trauma. Whatever you got going on, try to try to uh, deal with your demons, man. Deal with your demons, bro. Because I'm telling you, if you don't deal with them demons, they're going to deal with you. And <laughs> you're going to make some fucked up decisions. And I done made a lot of fucked up decisions and done a lot of crazy things fighting my demons. Not, not facing them. Not thinking logically. Not thinking smart. 
you will end up in places you don't want to be in your life, especially if you still got a uh, freedom out here. So easy to crash out, bro. So easy. Trying to prove something to some people that don't give a fuck. Don't ever be that guy that want to prove something to somebody, a female or a dude. Because I'm telling you, they don't care. A female going to go off to the next dude like you ain't exist. And that dude going to keep going through what he going through like you wasn't even there. Because at the end of the day, life keeps spinning, bro. But I hope this video will help you or help any man or anybody. Because at the end of the day, life ain't no joke. But it's all about prospering. Keep your persona, keep your balance. Because at the end of the day, the world and women, people, human beings will break you. God, they try to break you. Even on your bad days, that's when they really try to break you. And remember, ain't nobody perfect. We all don't have it together. But just know, if you focus on yourself and pace yourself and do what makes you happy and quit trying to be like everybody else and you can only do what you can and try to be the best version you can be of yourself. But yeah, man, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe button. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate the subscribers. I appreciate the ones that have been rocking with me. Like I said, man, I just try to come on here and be my genuine self. And, you know, if I can help, you know, I try my best to help. And like I said, it feels good to help people. Um, if y'all got any video suggestions, drop them in the uh, comments. Y'all can email me, hillreal1996 at gmail.com. If it's personal, I won't, you know, shout your name out. I like that. I'll just, you know, make it a specific topic, and you know, and I'll read it, and uh, I'll try my best to give you some advice because uh, I don't mind helping people. I wish I had this type of advice or help or somebody to talk to when I was going through a heartbreak, tripped, fail, where to go, how to deal with women, what not to do with a woman. I wish I had this type of advice because, you know, I'm going to be honest and I'm always honest. You know, my father was in and out of my life. So typical black man story, but it's the truth. I grew up in the hood. You know, I done made bad decisions. I, I done been there and done it, but it ain't never make me or break me. If anything, it made me a better man. But yeah, man, like I said, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.